Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying wall burgers. We have Chef Paul's wall sauce, which we have reviewed before. We did a whole video of the sauce, but we're going to have it again with the burgers. So, the burgers, this is a Chuck brisket blend, hearty beef flavor in every bite, certified Angus beef. Angus beef at its best. Uh, so, the sauce was $3.99. The burgers uh, were $9.99, but they did have it on a special. It was buy one, get one half off. So if we had wanted, um, if we had wanted another one, then we could have gotten half off the next one, but we didn't, we just wanted to get this. So you get four patties in here. They're really nice pieces of meat. Four, thick. Very, very thick. Yeah, so what Kevin's gonna do is, you could uh, make these however you wanna make them. You could put them in the oven and broil them. You could put them in the sto on the stove and fry them in a, a, fry a skillet. Uh, we are going to cook them out back on the grill. So, uh, we're uh, gonna do that, and then we'll be back to give them a try. So we cooked the burgers outside, all four of them on the grill. We left two plain because we want to review them with nothing. Kevin didn't put salt, pepper, anything like what he normally does. So we're just trying the meat. Um, and then the other two have pepper jack cheese. And we're going to actually put those on a bun and put lettuce and tomato and try it the way, like fully dressed like we normally would as well. So we're gonna try just the regular burgers first. I can tell you the good thing about buying them already patted out is I can tell you calories. When we when we make our own, and I do have to say, Kevin's burgers are bigger than these. Um, his are bigger, but they're probably more calories too. These are uh, 380 calories, 380 a piece. So that's probably about normal. It has a nice flavor. I mean, mm -hmm. they're no better than anything else, though. They're good. They're kind of dense, aren't they? It's dense, but I like it. Mm -hmm. I like the flavor. And I burger. always like a burger better cooked on the grill mm -hmm. than fried in the pan inside. Um, we've done that. We did that for years. Pretty and um, yeah, I opened it. It, it had a little seal on it and you pull it off and I, I already opened it. Um, but when you make them inside in a pan, it just goes everywhere. Of course, we never we never did put a lid on it either. Mm -hmm. Some people probably put a lid on their skillet when they do it that way. We never put a lid on ours. Um, so the wall sauce, let me see that. The wall sauce, like I've said, we've reviewed in the past. Mm. Good flavor. It reminds me a lot of ketchup. Mm. It's very ketchupy. Um, but maybe a little bit of like Wishier or It says dipping sauce, spread, burger, salad, chicken, tater tots, fries, sandwiches. It's good. Fifteen grams, about one tablespoon. Tablespoon mm. is a sixty calories. So, you know, that's... That's, that's probably on par with yeah. most everything. Um, the first ingredient is natural ketchup. Yeah. So, that's what I mainly taste. So what it tastes like. It tastes like a lot like ketchup. Uh, but it also is supposed to have dehydrated onion, natural flavors, garlic powder, mustard. It has, it does have other things in it. Uh, so, so are you going to use the wall sauce on your burger? Sure. Normally, I would use mustard and ketchup. Kevin uses mayo. mayonnaise. Gotta get the mayo. Did you close I it? Oh. <laughs> it's like it's squeeze all day and it wouldn't do anything. Okay. I'm gonna put a lot on there. So now this is a pepper jack cheese and uh, the burger, of course, we and love a bun. Pepper jack cheese. And it has uh, tomato and onion and lettuce. Yeah, we do like pepper jack cheese. Okay. That's a burger. Yeah, that's a good looking burger. Okay, here we go. <laughs> and Kevin, people have commented before, Kevin eats his burger upside down. It's a thing with him. Like, he has to eat it like that. Of course, I have to eat it the right way up. You are turning yours the exact, now look, we're both holding it like this. This is how no, you... no, no. You're, we're both holding it like this. 
What are you going to do? I'm going to eat it like this. You're going to rotate it and eat it like this. Yes. But yours I is my, up, you're I eating pick, it upside down. I pick down. mine up like this on the on the table. Lay yours back down on the, on the plate. How do you pick yours up? Like yeah. this. See all that effort you went to to scoop it up? I literally just go in and grab it. All that effort. <laughs> but I'm telling you, he eats it upside down. I wonder, it's like the toilet paper roll. How many people eat it with the bun up? How many people? I guarantee you, you are in the minority with that one. Okay. It's a good burger. Mm. No, honestly, if you think about the way, I eat, it's got a little spice to it too, that sauce does. I'm not getting, oh, that was pepper jack cheese, duh. Um, like I said, it's got a spice to it, it's a pepper jack. Um, the way you eat it, you have to scoop it up with your thumbs. I grab it with my fingers and pick it up. Same difference. We're still flipping it the same way. Mm -hmm. The way we pick it up is different. Mm -hmm. um, it's a good burger. Mm -hmm. You like the sauce. Mm -hmm. um, it's a good burger. I like the sauce. I like the burger. My only problem with the burger is it's, it is a little dry. And I didn't squish it or anything like that. I cook them just like I do all the other hamburgers. But we recently had just regular hamburgers. This is a little drier and denser than, than just um, hamburger you I wonder store. if it's because we always buy... I bought 80-20. Mm -hmm. That's what I bought at the store. Yeah. And I doubt it's going to say what percentage. No, it it's not going to. It's probably not going to say that at all. Um, no, it just says our Chuck brisket blend. We blend the freshest, highest quality certified Angus beef brand cuts to create a burger worth savoring every bite. We select each cut for exceptional marbling, flavor, and quality to ensure you receive the memorable meal you desire. I will say, I so wish we had a Wahlburgers in our area. I think there might be one in Louisville, Kentucky, but that's what, an hour and a half away yeah, from us? I'm not going to go an hour and a half away. I do think it's really, really cool that they um, have like in Hy-Vee grocery stores, which we don't have. They have a Wahlburgers where you can walk up and you can order food from there. Um, I do wish they had one in Lexington because I would absolutely love to try it. Um, I do like this burger. Mm -hmm. I do have to say, I am normally not one who will buy a pre-pattied burger because... It's like more expensive usually. Well, but it's different. It, it just seems to come across as... They usually are denser too. Yeah, it's it doesn't... I don't like it as much, a pre-pattied burger. I would buy these anytime. I really do like them. I would buy them so too. So if you didn't want to go to the trouble the of patty. just buying ground beef and yeah. patting it out, I would totally buy these again. I would buy them again. They're very good. And, and the price really wasn't that much. Um, 10 bucks? Yeah. I don't think 10 bucks 10 is bucks bad. 10 bucks for four is for not four bad. four hamburgers? Um, that's what I'm saying. That's what, two fifty a burger? That's, that's not bad. Um, but I do think that the 80-20 blend that we bought and patted out myself on the grill was... It did have more fat and moisture in it. But I still think these are good. There's nothing wrong with I guarantee that. you, if you probably went to a Wahlburgers, you'd probably pay a lot more than 10 bucks. Probably. And I know you're getting the bun and all that stuff, but still, um, I just think it's a really good deal. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I've always been really particular about buying pre patted and I like that. And I really do like that sauce The sauce there. is good. Yeah, mm -hmm. the sauce is good. It's really kind of a ketchup mustard blend with a little it bit is. of spices. It is. That's, that's what it is. But, um, but it's good. But it's really nice. I, I think it's all very good. Mm -hmm. So this, um, when we went in Meyer, this was the only Wahlburgers that I saw. So I don't know if they sell other cuts, other types. I don't know. This is all that we had available because I looked really carefully. Chuck Brisket Blend, I looked to see if any of the other packages had anything else on them. They did not. Um, it's like but, a cheese and bacon mix, sir. Right, <laughs> yeah, I didn't know because sometimes you can get burgers patted out with with stuff like cheese in there mm -hmm. and stuff like that. It would be cool if they had those too because I would totally be willing to try those with some garlic mm -hmm. or stuff like that in there or onion already in there. Be good. Um, they could even pack it with a cheese uh, in the middle, in the yeah. center. Legitious. And I was talking about shredded cheese, but they could put like a, a piece of cheese in there. Um, but I like this. I think it's very good quality. Yeah, so good. you'll have to let us know if you've ever, it'd be fun to know if you visited a restaurant, what did you order? Uh, you know, what do they have besides burgers? Because I don't know, because we don't have one. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.